Club Crawl Special. All aboard. <laughs> On the club car special, the porter has stowed our luggage away and we're snugly reading the March of Events and City Life section of our newspaper. This section is a feature of the Hearst Sunday newspapers everywhere. It offers the very highest ranking humorists of the day, Will Rogers, O.O. McIntyre, Arthur Bugs Bear, Sam Hellman, Milt Gross, and also sprightly cartoons drawn by famous artists. Here's the greatest array of laugh provokers ever gathered together in one side-splitting section. Let's go. <laughs> Here's a cartoon that looks promising. It shows two brawny riveters hard at work on their steel girders high above the street. Let's hear what they're saying. Boy, if we keep going like this, we'll have this building up in no time. Yeah, the foreman sure is making everybody step. <laughs> okay. Here we get a bonus when we finish it ahead of schedule. Yeah, I sure could use that bonus. Okay. Say, they're building off of close to that apartment house there, ain't they? Yeah. I could step right into that window there. Okay. I wonder who lives in there. Search me. Okay. Young man! Young man, look here, young man! Hey, who was that? Some old dame in that window. Uh, young man, listen to me. What is it, lady? You have to make that terrible noise. I'm sorry, lady, but we got to get this building up. Well, I suppose you do. But couldn't you go somewhere else and do it? <laughs> All aboard. Club call special next stop. Oh, oh, McIntyre. All aboard. <laughs> McIntyre's column in the Hearst Sunday newspaper is followed by millions of readers everywhere. Its great appeal is based on the fact that it follows no set pattern or formula. In it, you will find not only first-hand glimpses of famous people, but interesting observations on the lives of those who are merely obscure figures that pass in the crowd. One of McIntyre's most amusing ideas struck him while visiting a dentist, and the following is the whimsical situation that passed through his mind. Any more patients waiting, nurse? There's just one, doctor. Is he there by appointment? No, but he's been waiting a long time. Well, you can send him in now. Yes, doctor. You may come in, sir. The doctor will see you. Oh, thanks. Uh, good afternoon. What can I do for you? Well, I was walking along the street, and it came over me worse than ever. Have you had it long? All my life. Well, that's too bad. Just get in the chair, and I'll have a look. Thanks. I really hate to bother you, but I just couldn't hold out any longer. No bother at all. I'm sorry that you had to wait so long. Oh, I didn't mind. Uh, do you happen to have a small piece of paper? Will a sheet of this memo pad do? Fine. Uh, I hope I can remember how to do this. How to do what? How to make one of those little paper boats we made when we were kids. Paper boats when you... Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, which tooth is it that's giving you the most trouble? Oh, I haven't any toothache. You haven't? Then what are you here for? Well, here's how it is. You see this little bowl with the revolving stream of water beside the chair here? Yes, yes, of course. Well, all my life I've wanted to sail a boat in one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> all aboard. <laughs> 
Club Call Special. Next stop, Arthur Bugs Bear. All aboard. <laughs> A place called Rough Town, which Arthur Bugs Bear writes about in the Hearst Sunday newspapers, is renowned not only for its toughness, but for its trolley car system as well. Last fall, a stranger from out of town stepped on a Rough Town trolley, and here's what happened. But it only stops on signal. No, I say. You're a stranger in town, ain't you? Yeah, but I heard a lot about your football team, and I want to see them play. Oh, uh, conductor. Yes, madam. Does this car stop at the football field? Yes, madam, but it only stops there on signal. Oh, I see. I'm glad you told me. Certainly a lot of people going to the game today. Yeah, it's going to be a great game, I hear. Say, look at that group at the other end of the car. Yeah, I see them. They're going to the game, too. They're all gathered together in a bunch. Yep, that's right. They're in a regular huddle. Who are those fellas? Don't you know? That's the football team. Is that so? What are they in a huddle about? I told you this car stops only signal, didn't I? Yes? Well, they're just rehearsing their signals. <laughs> all aboard, Club Call Special. Next stop, Will Rogers, all aboard. <laughs> Rogers spends lots of his time making movies out in Hollywood and consequently has a fund of observations on the doings around the studios. The following brief dramatization is inspired by one of Will's recent comments as recorded in his column in the Hearst Sunday newspapers. The scene is just outside a Hollywood picture house where a new movie is being previewed. A great many celebrities are arriving and one of them is the star of the picture. We'll call him Gerald Waverly. That isn't his real name, but it'll serve our purpose. We find Mr. Waverly just stepping from his limousine and being greeted by an attendant. Stand back there, no. Stand back. Get back right there. Good evening, Mr. Waverly. Got an awful big crowd out tonight. You certainly have. I hope my picture doesn't disappoint them. Oh, it won't. You haven't disappointed them in the past. Nice of you to say that. Say, there certainly is a crowd. What's going on back there? Get back there, I say. Stop pushing. Stop pushing. There's some kind of excitement. I can't quite make it out. Seems to be someone fighting their way through them all. Yeah, looks like it. She's having a time of it. Look, her clothes are all torn. She'll get hurt if she don't watch out. She's headed right this way. Oh, uh, maybe she wants to see you. Oh, uh, probably just one of my dear public. Oh, just a minute, just a minute. Oh, please. Uh, did you want to see me? Yes. Will you please sign my autograph album? Why, certainly. Oh, thank you so much. Not at all. Uh, uh, there you are. Oh, gee, that's awful nice of you. <laughs> Is that your name, Gerald Waverly? Why, yes. Didn't you recognize me? Oh, no. In fact, I never heard of you before. Then why do you want my autograph? Well, you see, I'm not stuck up. I ask anybody. (laughs) (laughs) All aboard, Club Car Special. Next stop, Bill Gross. All aboard. Joe Runt is a famous character created by Milt Gross, 
whose writings appear in the Hearst Sunday newspapers all over the country. Joe Runt is a great admirer of his boss, Mr. Thorndike, and whatever Mr. Thorndike does is promptly copied by Joe. Let's look in on the boss's office and see what's going on today. Come in, Joe. Why, uh, gosh, Mr. Thorndike, thanks. Uh, what's on your mind? Sit down. Well, uh... A couple of days ago, when you were talking to me, you said you was having a picture painted of your wife. That's right. It made a big hit, too. Nothing flatters a wife like having a portrait painted. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I went and had my wife's portrait painted, too. Good for you, Joe. That's great. How did she like it? Well, it's not done yet. It's coming home tomorrow. I'm going to surprise her with it. How could you do that? How could you have a picture painted without her knowing it? I fixed that by giving the portrait painter a photograph I had of her. Oh, I see. But there's one thing I want to ask you. Yes? What is it, Joe? I can't decide where's the best place to hang the picture. Where did you hang yours? Why, I hung my wife's picture in the drawing room where everybody could see it. Gee, that's too bad. What's too bad? We ain't got no drawing room in our house. Oh, I see. Well, then, just put it in the parlor. Gee, that's a good idea. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Thorndyke. Uh, yes, Miss Typer, come in. Well, this man insists on coming to see Mr. Runt, and he won't take no for an answer. What does he want? I'll tell you what I want. I want that little guy you're talking to. He's Joe Runt, ain't he? Uh, yes, uh, but... Okay, uh, well... Runt. Just slip these bracelets on and come on down to headquarters with me. Oh, Jay, what, what's the trouble? I, I ain't done nothing. I know you ain't, and I'm going to see that you don't either. Now, come along. Just a minute, officer. Uh, what has Joe done? I tell you it ain't on account of what he has done. It's on account of what he's planning to do. Yes, what's he planning to do? His wife called up this morning and said he was talking in his sleep all of last night. Well, what did he say? All night long he was talking about whether he'd hang her in the bedroom or hang her over the fireplace. <laughs> Again, the excursion of the club car special draws near the end of its journey. But you can travel further on this frolicsome trip by reading the March of Events and City Life section in next Sunday's Hearst Newspapers. There you will find column after column of comedy written by the nation's leading humorists. There are long, amusing skits by such authors as Will Rogers, O.O. O. McIntyre, Bugs Bear, Milt Gross, Sam Hellman, and others. No other newspaper has such a battery of fun makers who combine their efforts for your entertainment. There are laugh-provoking cartoons, too. Brighten up your day by joining the millions of other readers who laugh every week as they enjoy these comedy articles in the March of Events and City Life section of the Hearst Sunday Newspapers. Music